Well, the witches are back, and they have a message for us, actually. And it proves that Jesus Christ is involved in the political sphere. It also proves that us Christians always prevail in the end, and we always have more power over them because their God is Satan. He's been defeated. He's a punk. He's a peon. We know this. It's in the Bible. You can read it. But what I found very interesting about this subreddit that these witches were posting about is the fact that we really get to see God move on behalf of our prayers in real time. And today, you are going to be mind blown when you realize why they're upset and why specifically they're upset over Donald Trump. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Witches on Reddit are complaining that they can't curse Donald Trump because he has some sort of protection around him. As the demonic programming from the false prophet media has gone into full effect, Trump derangement syndrome has even reached the occult, to where witches have been posting on the Witches vs. Patriarchy subreddit that their curses against Donald Trump are not effective. They note in their own words that he seems to have some kind of protection around him. Here's what the full post on the subreddit reads. Some other witches have mentioned that doing spells directly against Trump are not as effective as we might hope, as he seems to have some kind of protection around him. A freezer spell against Project 2025 would likely be useful, but I wouldn't give the Cheeto any more attention right now. He hates to be ignored, right? LOL. A lot of people are taking the opportunity to do protection and uplifting kinds of spells to help Kamala and the Democrats, rather than attacking the other side. An awesome spell that can be repeated many times is the Blue Wave spell by Michael M. Hughes. It is powerful. Good luck and Godspeed. The question you need to ask yourself is, if God is not involved in using Donald Trump for a specific purpose, why would witches try to curse him, let alone have their spells fail, due to God's protection? Although Donald Trump professes Christ, I don't believe he's a born-again believer. I'm leaning to say that he's not, but I could also be wrong, but that's just from what I've noticed when he talks about Christianity and religion. However, you do not have to be a born-again Christian to be anointed and used by God. King Cyrus, who was the founder of the Persian Empire, was a Zoroastrian, which is a religion where they worshipped a false god named Ahura Mazda. Yet in Isaiah 45, 1, God says that King Cyrus is his anointed. The passage reads this, Thus says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped, to subdue nations before him and to loose the belts of kings, to open doors before him that gates may not be closed. Even though King Cyrus was not a follower of Yahweh, he was still anointed by him because he used his political power to help the Israelites return to Jerusalem as well as rebuild their temple. Donald Trump is the modern day King Cyrus, hence why God has anointed him and proved that to the entire world by sparing him from a bullet that should have hit him right in his head. Many Christians have also been praying a hedge of protection over Donald Trump, which is why witches cannot curse him because James 5.16 says that the prayers of a righteous person has great power. If the devil is trying to curse Donald Trump with witchcraft, as well as helping Kamala on the back end with success spells, it goes to show you the clear divide between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of hell in this election. The idea that Jesus is not involved in politics is a complete fallacious lie because the whole reason government was even created was for God's agenda to be carried out in a human representative way. As we clearly see in Deuteronomy 7, 17, 14 to 15. The first system of governance approved by God reads this. When you come to the land that the Lord your God is giving you, and you possess it and dwell in it, and then say, I will set a king over me like all the nations that are around me, you may indeed set a king over you whom the Lord your God will choose. One from among your brothers you shall set as king over you. You may not put a foreigner over you who is not your brother. We are clearly in a spiritual war, and both heaven and hell have endorsed their candidates. So the choice is up to us as Christians to act on this. 41 million Christians in this country have actually been recorded to not vote at all. This is the devil's biggest strategy against the church and it's clearly working, which is to convince believers that they don't need to be involved in things politically, which ultimately allows heathens to pass laws at our expense, which will also allow legal right for demons to be over this nation due to legalizing certain sins. We need to take our authority in Christ not only in the spiritual realm, but the physical one also, because we've been given power by the Holy Spirit to be a light in dark places, which includes the political sphere. No longer can the church remain idle when the spiritual realm has revealed that they are heavily involved in the governance system in America. If you made it all the way till the end of the video, I want you to comment down below, God reigns over politics. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description, and I have merch you can buy, which is also linked in the description. If you guys want to watch my last video, you can simply click up here, and if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, you can also click up here. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care, and peace out.